Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So welcome back to this multi-part tutorial series where I'm showing you how to build a full-length blockchain application step-by-step, step, all right? We're creating a decentralized social network. So go check out the previous videos if you haven't already. Uh, but today I'm gonna show you how to pick up where we left off and we're gonna create posts on the blockchain. This is gonna allow people to actually, you know, create transactions where they're, you know, adding social media updates uh, on this smart contract that runs on the blockchain that powers our social network, all right? So let's go ahead and start programming. All right, in this section of the tutorial, we're gonna continue on building out the client-side application for this social network that's running on the blockchain, all right? So in the last video, uh, we listed out the posts on the page. We just have one post so far. Uh, so in this video, we're going to create a new form that's going to allow us to submit posts to the smart contract. We're actually going to be able to sign the transaction with MetaMask and uh, put the post on the blockchain. So really quickly before we start, I made a mistake in the last video that I want to correct. Um, it, whenever I show this Identicon avatar, I did it for the current account, and it really should be for the author of this post, which is different, you can see. All right. So let's fix that. So instead of this.state.account, this should be post.author. All right, so that's my fault. Sorry, guys. So save that. Go back to the page, and boom, there we go. We should see uh, a different identicon. This is the one for the person who actually created the post, all right? So here's, who, who, here's the account we're logged in with, and here's the author of the post. It's two different people. All right, awesome, cool. So now that that's fixed, let's move on and uh, create a form. So... In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new component, just like we did for our nav bar. So we put the nav bar information inside of its own component. We're going to put all the content for the page also inside of its own, own component. So let's do a little bit of refactoring here. I'm going to take this nav bar uh, and do this. Create a new file. And say uh, main.js. I'm just going to paste the nav bar code and take out all the HTML. All right, and change navbar to main. All right, so that's going to be our boilerplate for the main uh, code. So I'll take all of the HTML that we wrote in the last section. Let's see, sorry, from app.js, and I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to copy it, or cut it actually, and paste it here. And boom. Just put everything inside the return statement. All right, and that should be uh, all we need to do, except for changing a few things. Let's see here. So anything that says this.state, well, well, let's change that in a second. All right, let's import the main component. Uh, go back to app.js. All right, right below navbar, we'll just copy this, paste it, change it to main. All right, and uh, right below navbar, we'll copy this and say main. And we don't necessarily need the account, but we do need the posts, all right? So we'll say posts, this.state.posts. And because we're converting this to props, we need to reference these with props inside the component. So go back to main.js and find uh, anything that says this.state, right? This.state.posts, just one thing. And change it to props, this.props.posts, all right? Save that, go back to the page, and it still works. Awesome. Very cool. So it's going to be apparent why we did this momentarily. All right. Basically, whenever we submit our form, uh, we're going to have to like show that the field is loading. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to create a loading state for the application. All right. So essentially what I want to do is uh, show that the app is loading if we're waiting on the blockchain for information. And if not, we're going to show the content. All right. So what I can do is say, like, let's see, so we could change our state, say loading. We can say true, all right? And uh, what I'm going to do is say here, I'm going to use some JavaScript and say this.state.loading. Say question mark. If it's true, we're going to do one thing, and if not, we're going to do another. Say uh, div ID equals loader. Say class name equals text. Oh, sorry, text center loading. All right. 
And if not, then we're going to render out this main. All right. So right now I've hard coded uh, loading to true. All right. And if when it's true, we're going to show the loader. Uh, but when it's false, we're going to show the content. All right. So let's uh, let's do that. And it looks like we can't see it, so I'm going to say uh, let's say mt5. All right, perfect. There we go. I just added some margin. So whenever the app's loading, we're going to show this. And when it's not, we're going to show the content. Okay. So I can say, you know, loading false. All right, whenever it's done, it's going to show the page. So we're essentially going to, uh, you know, set the state to loading whenever we're, you know, fetching information from the blockchain. So I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to set this to true by default. All right, but whenever we actually are fetching information from the blockchain, uh, we're going to you know update that it finished, and simultaneously uh, we're going to, uh, and likewise we're gonna you know tell the page that it's loading whenever we like submit new information to the blockchain. All right, so this does set state. All right, posts, and then uh, we're gonna say you know this. Set state loading false. All right, so we should see a little flash here. All right, boom, you see that? So whenever we're talking to blockchain, it's going to say loading, and when it's done, it's going to show the content on the page. All right. So that's going to be helpful for us whenever we decide to create a form. All right. I'm going to go back inside of our main component, and just above this section uh, where we you know list out all the posts, I'm going to paste in a basic form here. All right. Boom. Done. All right, so essentially this is just an HTML form that has uh, you know, an input inside of it that's going to uh, be the content of the post. We'll have a placeholder and then a button that will submit it. All right, so let's save that, go back to the page, and there we go. You can see that we can uh, do that right here. So I'm using uh, this for spaces. <laughs> Probably not the best way to do this, but uh, it works. So I'll save it and go back, and boom, there we go, two spaces. All right, what's on your mind? We'll just say this is my second post. All right, but it won't do anything yet. All right, that's because we haven't wired it up to uh, go to the blockchain yet. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's fill this out, click share, and we should be able to sign this transact with MetaMask and put it on the network. So uh, we need to call the smart contract function for this. This is, let's see here, let's say source. Um, contracts, social network, we want to call the create post function. So how do we do that? Well, we could do it with the Web3.js smart contract that we uh, instantiated here. All right, we can go back to our documentation and see, uh, you know, my methods. We want to do send, all right, because this actually creates a transaction and puts it on the blockchain. So my contract methods create post will pass in the content and then we'll pass in some options, uh, which is going to be the account that's going to do it, all right? So we'll create a new function just for this. All right, we'll go back to our app.js component and we'll uh, do this, we'll say, just below load blockchain data above constructor, we'll say uh, create post. All right, this will be the name, or content, sorry. And here we're going to basically get the social network. So this state dot social network, All right? It's here, and we say uh, methods, and say create post, and pass in the content. All right. So remember, this doesn't call the function. We have to actually call send, like this. Send. And I'm going to pass in uh, the account who's actually going to create this transaction. In this case, we want to use uh, our MetaMask account. So this will be uh, from this.state.account. Okay. That's who's going to actually create the post, sign the transaction, and put it on the blockchain. All right. So uh, we can see from the documentation that uh, you could do that like this. You can pass in a callback function, uh, or you can do then. Right, or you can say on or once, okay. And after it's finished, uh, you know, once it's actually submitted, we want to tell the loading is false. So we'll say uh, this dot set state loading true, and then we'll say uh, 
wants receipt. Let's say receipt. This dot set state loading false. All right, so that's how we create the post. Now we want to call this function inside the form. So in order to do that, we have to access this function from uh, this component right here. So how do we do that? Well, we need to pass it down. So uh, here, main, let's say posts. And then, uh, let's see, create post. We want to say uh, this dot, uh, let's see here, this dot create post. Tell you what, let's put it below the posts. All right? Uh, but in order to access that, we need to bind it to this. So we'll say, uh, just like this. We'll go inside the constructor and say, boom, this.createPost, bind this. All right. Awesome. So let's go back to our browser, make sure we don't have any big errors. <laughs> Nothing, it's got some warnings. Uh, this is basically just like uh, HTML stuff, no big deal. All right, so go back to main.js and we're gonna actually call the create post function whenever we submit the form. So uh, we're gonna use an on submit handler to do this. So essentially, uh, you know, you can listen to events inside of React like this, say on submit. So the submit event will be triggered whenever the form is submitted. We'll pass in a function. This will be the event. All right. And inside of here, we'll say event prevent default. That'll keep it from reloading the page. And then inside of here, we can call this.createPost. All right, and then pass in uh, the content. But what's the content? All right, how do we get that? Well, React has something called refs, uh, which will allow us to get the content from this input. So I'm gonna do that like this. I'll say, boom. All right, ref equals input. So this dot post content, right? It equals the input of this here. So I can say const content equals this uh, dot post content dot value. That'll read it from refs, All right? So content, content, boom, done. Awesome. All right, so I think that's everything that we need in order to put this post on the blockchain. Let's give it a try. Refresh the page. Uh, uh oh, so empty handler on submit. Be ignored. All right, I see the problem, guys. Uh, I made two typos here. So this is not spelled correctly. Set state, and also set state. Okay, so I'll save that, go back to the page, try this again. This is my second post. Click share. All right, so a MetaMask confirmation popped up off my screen, which I can see here. I'll uh, click confirm. All right, and let's see if it works. All right, boom, it's done. And we can see our second post. All right, there we go. We can see I have two different posts from two different authors, and this is the same avatar, and the address is the one that we're connected with, okay. So uh, we have successfully been able to create posts. I'll put my third post in. This is my third post, click share. See MetaMask confirmation pop up again. Click confirm, and boom. Awesome, <laughs> we've got three total posts. Very cool. All right, so that's it for this section. We've been able to successfully create posts. In the next video, we're going to update uh, posts by tipping them, all right? We're gonna wire this button up so that anybody can come in and tip the posts, and we're going to sort the posts to where the highest tipped posts appear at the top, all right? And that's gonna make our social network, uh, you know, kind of rewards-based, all right? So I'll catch you in that next video.